Hello and welcome. This is Nick Lannon at the bench. And uh, just a quick little tip for newbies that uh, you know a lot of people really just don't really understand uh, when they first start out, or maybe even you've used a torch for a long time and you still don't know. You know, I, I don't know. Um, anyway, what I've discovered over my uh, career is that when working with a torch, you know, there's several places that you can use within the flame uh, to get the desired result, like uh, simply applying a jump ring to a piece of bar stock or a pendant or an earring or something like that. So, I, what I were what I want to say is, is there's a couple different types of flames, and we'll get into that in a, a later video, the technical parts. But if you can see, there's like a secondary point in there. Right in there, you see that second little point? Okay. So, what I found is that I can get the same result heating something up right here, a quarter inch away from the flame, and I can get the exact same result out here, you know, an inch and a half away from my flame. So, what I'm trying to say is, is don't feel like that when you are using an open flame and you've got a little bit of throttle here, that don't feel like you have to use the, the little point inside the big flame envelope, basically. You can every bit get the same result out here as you can back here. Now what I'm going to say is, is there is probably a little bit of time difference in between this here. But when you work on a couple thousand degree little dragon here, it, it doesn't take long. All right? So feel free to come out here and experiment. And, and really, and unless I'm gassing on it and really going after it, I rarely come back here by the point. I'm always out here. The heat itself is already well mixed. It's uh, what I would call a little bit more softer because I think, you know, at that point out here, the humidity in the air actually plays a role and makes a little bit more of a sweaty, uh, more damp heat. And that's primarily where I work at is out here. Um, and I, I just feel like it's a, a way better zone for me to work in with my torch. So I just wanted to do a quick little video to kind of explain where I work at on the torch. And like when you're hitting stuff, you know, when, when you're trying to heat something up, you grab a jump ring. I mean, you can get the same result pulling pretty far back. See that? So you're going to be able to transfer a lot of heat, even at that distance. And we'll just tickle it out here. That's the other thing. You know, if you're working with something really small, you're going to take a lot of the excess heat out of the equation. I mean, you only need about 2,000 degrees to get the job done uh, in most cases, right? So this guy can produce up to 4,400, sometimes even 4,800 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's, that's a lot of motor. So limit your excess heat, and that will in turn limit the amount of times you melt stuff uh, unintended. So... I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you out. Um, that's, that's a lot of what I try to teach people is just my own experience and what I've learned. And uh, I hope it helps you. Thanks.